slabs have fixity at the supports and the reinforcement is added to resist torsions and to prevent the corner of the slab from lifting. The slab is considered as a restraint slab. To design the amount of reinforcement bar for this kind of slab, first you need to determine the moment acting on the slab. It is obtained by using the coefficients given in table 3.14 in BS8110 for you to obtain the BSS and BSY. The MSS and MSY is the moment for the shorter and the longer span respectively. The N is the design look with the factor of 1.35 GK and 1.5 QK. Based on the moment, find the care value, obtain the care value, substitute into the equations for the lever arm, and ensure that the lever arm is not greater than 0.95D, and substitute the value into the equations to determine the amount of reinforcement bar. The bending moment for the shorter span refers to this and the bending moment for the longer span refers to this. According to BS, the slab is divided into the middle and the edge strips. The middle strip consists of about 3 quarter of the span and 1 8 of the span is considered as the edge strips. The reinforcement bars are provided to resist the moment generated at the middle strips. That means full amount of reinforcement bar is required at the region. As for the edge strip, nominal reinforcement bar or minimum amount of reinforcement bar is required.